inside than out. Yes. That's because the TARDIS is dimensionally transcendental. What does that mean? It means that it's bigger inside than out. Now then. That's impossible. The doors have closed. What? Doctor, let me out of here. Well, I can't, Joe. I think we're taking off. Well, stop it. Well, I'm trying to. Something's operating it by remote control. The Time Lords. Wait, you're right, Doctor. Another dead end and we... Doctor, come back at once. All right, Doctor. Joke's over. Open the doors and let me out. I can't, Joe. We've taken off. All right, then. Where are we? At the moment, we're nowhere. Oh, don't be silly. We can't be nowhere. We're outside the space-time continuum. What? Look. No idea. We'll just have to wait until we emerge. Planet Uxarius. So that's our destination. Very impressive. But can we go back to Earth now, please? I don't know, Joe. That is where we are. All right, then. If we've landed on another planet, why don't you open the doors? Because the atmosphere out there might be poisonous, that's why. I'll just check. Well, is it? Is it what? Is the atmosphere poisonous? No, no, it's quite healthy. Similar to Earth before the invention of the motor car. Look, Doctor, are you going to open the doors or not? I can but try. That's an alien world out there, Joe. Think of it. I don't want to think of it. I want to go back to Earth. But do you realize how long I've been confined to one planet? All that talk of yours about traveling in time and space, it was true. Well, of course it was true. Before I was stranded on Earth, I spent all my time exploring new worlds and seeking the wonders of the universe. But you don't know what's out there. Then let's find out. Don't you want to set foot on another world? Well, yes, I do, but I... Good. Come on. We'll just take a quick look around. Then I'll try and get you back to Earth, all right? All right. <laughs> 